Welcome to this short video which focuses on the Microsoft SQL auditing capabilities of the LangGuardian system. My name is Dara Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Net4 Technologies. So we're looking at the web front end here, and we're actually focusing on the Microsoft SQL auditing dashboard. But before we come to that, I'm going to run some reports to find out what users are doing within the SQL databases on this network. So I'm going to go to Modules, SQL Server, I'm going to take a look at one of the top databases in use. So we have the option here to select a time period. So LangGuardian stores the historical information about who is accessing the data within the databases. I'm going to select the last 24 hours. I'm going to run the report. And I find out here on this network there are two databases in use. We've got customers and sales. So I'm going to drill down here to find out who's accessing the customers database. So we find out that there's one client on this network connected to the customers database. Let's drill down, find out what's been happening. So here we can find the client connecting to the server at the date and time, some application information, and here's the queries that this particular user has been running. So they've been selecting some customer data, and they've also deleted some data here from, looks like, a customer's table within the database. So the next thing we need to find out here is what user on our network is responsible for this. So we click the user button, and we find out here that it's associated with a username called Andrea. So LangGuardian can associate this database activity with users on the network. We can also do this by going to the SQL Server section, I'm going to go to Advanced Reports, and find out who are the top users of databases on the network. Run the report, and here Andrea shows up again, with the option here, of course, to drill down and find out what she's been doing. Okay, one way to access the, the reports is through this module section, we go to SQL Server. The LangGuardian also has got this very useful report finder. So the next thing I want to do is find out, is there any other data being deleted from within databases? So I want to take a look at any statements that contain the delete command. So I just type in here in the report finder, I'm going to type in statement. We don't need to put in the full um, you know, word statement, we just type in a few characters, top statement, that will do me. And in the statement here, I'm just going to put in delete, find out if there any other deletes being run. Run the report. We do find out here the delete command that we found earlier on, delete from the customer's database. We drill down. And we come to the same screen here again with the option to find a username associated with it. Other ways our customers use this LangGuardian system for when they're looking at databases on the network is that sometimes users are complaining or maybe the developers complaining that the access to the database servers is slow and they're asking for any audit logs which may be available to find out what's been happening, you know, is it a network problem, is it an application problem and you need to try and figure out what's been happening. So we can go to modules, SQL Server, I'm going to go to the advanced reports and we have the option here to look at the top clients by the data volume. So this, looks, this report looks at users connecting to the database and finding out is there any user out there generating huge volumes of data being copied across the network. So that could impact on the server performance and also possibly on the performance of the network. And we have the option to drill down again by clicking on the totals and we can find out what servers they're connecting to. And to bring this all together then as a very powerful auditing tool, we've got the dashboard feature here. So on my SQL auditing dashboard, I've got a number of reports. I've got one of the top, top databases on my network. So here are the two databases. What are the top usernames in use connecting to the databases? So it looks like somebody here is using the system attendance account and there's somebody logging on using admin. We've the option to drill down and find out you know, what queries are being run with the system attendance account. And here we have revealed here the queries, and here's the system account, system attendant account. Other information I've got in my SQL auditing dashboard here, top clients by the volume of data they're pulling from the databases. I've got the top systems accessing databases, so these are the two most active machines connected to the databases. What are the top statements being run across the network right now? And also here, this element here focuses on any deletes or drops. So here we have the 
one we found there Iran, Andrea here, has been removing data here from the, you can just scroll across, from the customer's table within the customer's database. So we've got a single screen here that updates and we can customize it. But it updates with the latest information about what people are doing within the databases, what machines are connecting. So it's a really powerful auditing tool if you want to find out how databases are being used on your network. So if you want to get your own SQL auditing system installed within 1R, or maybe if you're an auditor and you want to either a portable or maybe a permanent solution for monitoring database activity, please visit www.netfortechnologies.com where you can download a free trial today.